Ellen Matt back with you on Sports Center. So the big baller brand unveiled their ZO2, much to the chagrin of the sports world. Uh, this pair of shoes can be yours for the low, low price of $495. LeVar Ball saying, that's why it's big baller brand. If you can't afford it, then it ain't for you. We already got Darren Ravel's sake. Let's get StockX CEO and StockX TV host Josh Lubrin on this conversation. Uh, both uh, he he's very well versed in what's going on with this shoe. All right, start with the difficulties that is facing this big baller brand at a four hundred and ninety-five dollar price point, Josh. <laughs> All of them, right? You have all the difficulties at, at 495. First of all, you know, let's get the, out of the way the fact that that was pretty much the only way to get this talked about in there, right? The shoe itself, the design, um, and the fact that he's doing it, you know, is not nearly as big of a deal as having a shoe that's $495, which is over two and a half times more expensive than pretty much any performance basketball shoe we've ever seen, right? In fact, while a lot of the other big uh, signature shoes, LeBron, KD, they've been decreasing the price point. LeBron last year was almost $200, now it's down to $175. The only time that we have seen a brand have a $400 or more retail shoe was Jordan in the past two years, but they've been doing this with very high premium material and it's an off-court shoe, right? So it's not a performance shoe, right? So this is basically unprecedented. Josh, I mentioned a little earlier in the show, obviously the memes have been going crazy once the shoe was unveiled. There was comparisons to it looking like Stefan Marbury Starbury shoes, only $400 more. Um, what do you think of the design of the shoe? Uh, look, if, if, you, if you love every shoe that Kobe's ever made, then you'll probably like this design. There is so much similarity in the shoe, right? Uh, in the upper, it looks almost exactly like the, the Kobe 6 in a lot of ways, right? The eyelets are almost identical to the Kobe 8, right? The tongue is almost identical to the Kobe 10, right? The shoe it most resembles is maybe the, the Kobe 11 with the way the midsole goes up and around and the overall just you know, structure of the shoe. But the thing that, that's probably most troublesome, actually, and maybe the reason that, that they need to charge so much money for it is the, the sole. The sole looks almost exactly like the Adidas Boost. And, you know... I'm not an IP lawyer. This stuff is, is people take designs and, and borrow liberally, but you know, that looks way too much like Adidas Boost for me. So you know, that's a, you know, a pretty interesting design change. I have those Ultra Boost, actually. They're quite comfortable. And guess what? They were about $320 less than the big baller brown though, too. All right, Josh Luber giving his unique perspective on uh, that $500 shoe that's coming your way.